welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be styling the Spanx faux leather joggers, 10 different ways. I'm super excited about this video because these faux leather joggers are so incredibly comfortable. They're so incredibly chic and they're such a great price. I think they're $148, which is a little expensive, but for a high quality pair of faux leather joggers that you can literally wear with sneakers, you can wear them with booties, you can wear them with heels, you can dress them up, you can dress them down, which I'm about to prove in this video. I think they're well worth it when you consider the cost per wear and the versatility and wearability and comfort level of these amazing faux leather joggers. So let's get to it. But before I do, if you would please subscribe to my channel, I do publish two new videos every single week for women just like you who want to look and feel amazing no matter what your age, because I believe if you look good and you feel good, you will exude confidence and confidence will get you anywhere you want to go. Okay, so let's talk about look number one. And also just a reminder, all of the items that I'm featuring in today's video will be listed down below in my description box, as well as sizing information for a reference and also, if there is ever anything on the expensive side, I will always link a steel version down below because I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. So look number one, of course, let's start off uh, with the faux leather joggers. So obviously these are by Spanx. I love the fact that they have pockets. They fit really well. They're high-waisted, so they're incredibly slimming. They're gonna make your legs look longer, like your, make your legs look slimmer because the waistline actually hits above the belly button. Now, I am five foot four, and these faux leather joggers come a little bit below my ankles, so you can just kind of relate. If you're taller, they're gonna be a little bit shorter on you like they are on the model on the Nordstrom website. If you're you know, five foot four or even a little bit shorter, then just kind of take that in, into consideration. When I'm wearing these joggers with heels or sneakers, I kind of like to push them up a little bit and make them a little bit shorter. And the good news is, since they are tapered at the leg and they actually have elastic around the ankle, you can kind of move them up and down, which is why I love these so much. These are also a little bit more tapered than some of the other faux leather joggers that I've tried on. So honestly, these are my number one pick. I own a couple different brands of faux leather joggers, some being more expensive than this one. And although this one is less expensive, this pair by Spanx is absolutely my number one pick. The leather looks and feels real. They are crazy comfortable, again, high-waisted, and such a good price. So, started off, obviously, with the faux leather joggers, and then I paired it with this gorgeous chocolate brown uh, cropped leather blazer. I got this on the Intermix website. I love this blazer. Okay, chocolate brown is having a huge moment in 2020, specifically fall and winter. Obviously, chocolate brown is a gorgeous color to wear in the fall and winter months. It's definitely, as I said, making a comeback. And I love this blazer because of the color, but also it has no hardware on it, so it's very simple. It's very minimal. It also makes, you know, it's very versatile because you can wear it with a ton of different things. I decided to pair it with this um, tan ribbed bodysuit from the Abercrombie and Fitch website. It is very slimming. I think this bodysuit's under $50, but it looks more expensive than that because it is um, made of ribbed knit material. Now, one thing I love to do, and you'll notice I've done it a few times in this video, is mixing shades of brown, lighter shades, darker shades. So in this case, the darker chocolate brown blazer, I thought looked phenomenal with the lighter beige colored bodysuit. And then to kind of marry these browns together, I chose to pair this entire look with these awesome lace up leopard heels. I featured these leopard heels in my video last week. I love them because the heel height isn't crazy high. It's around three and a half inches. Of course, I love leopard. Who doesn't love leopard? It's one of my favorite prints to wear, especially on my shoes. I love wearing leopard shoes, whether that's boots, booties, or heels. So love these heels. And the fact that they lace up the leg, I think them makes them incredibly sexy and amazingly chic. So absolutely love these heels. Okay, look number two is this gorgeous camel coat. This is by Topshop. You guys, this coat looks so much more expensive than it really is. It's a hundred and some odd dollars on the Nordstrom website. And it honestly reminds me of like a um, Max Mara long camel coat. And those will run you like over a thousand dollars. So this coat is just incredibly chic. If you don't already have a camel, a long camel coat in your winter and fall wardrobe, I definitely think that you need one because I think they're very sophisticated. They're very polished. 
They're very versatile. This coat will never ever go out of style, I promise. The fact that it is long, I think makes it incredibly chic and just such a statement maker and a head turner. And again, being this gorgeous camel color, I loved mixing it with another shade of brown like I talked about. And I basically paired it over this turtleneck, this cutout turtleneck by Alex. It's actually a bodysuit. It has um, the thumb holes. You can put your thumbs through the thumb holes. So I think that's really kind of cool, especially if you live somewhere really cold. So I think it's just like incredibly chic. And I love this camel color. I think it's so beautiful to wear in the fall and winter. And even in the spring and summer, you could wear like a white um, leather jacket over it and some light wash denim. And then of course I did the faux leather joggers, which are insanely comfortable. I can't wait for y'all to try them and hear what you think about them. And then I did the black sock booties. So these are amazing. They are $99. They are by Steve Madden. They are incredibly comfortable because the heel height is around three and a half inches. I think they look way more expensive than they really are. In fact, I bought a pair last winter by um, Stuart Weitzman and the Stuart Weitzman ones were obviously more expensive than these Steve Madden ones. And I will be honest and say that I reached for and wore the $100 Steve Madden sock booties uh, tons more than I wore the Stuart Weitzman one. So highly recommend these because they're not only comfortable, but they're just incredibly chic. I love the fact that they do have a stiletto heel and a pointy toe. So they, they're gonna make your legs look longer. I know I'll be wearing them a ton this winter and I'm sure you will be too if you decide to add them to your shoe collection. So can't recommend these amazing under $100 Steve Madden sock booties enough. Okay, the third way I style these amazing faux leather joggers is with this cream colored uh, faux shearling moto jacket. I loved the color of this moto jacket because it was ivory. I think it's really fun and chic to wear ivory in the fall and winter because you expect people to wear darker colors, which I love. Obviously, I'm a fan of doing that. But if you want to be a bit more unexpected, I think wearing ivory is just really chic to do in the fall and winter time. This coat is warm. It's cozy. It's reasonably priced, though, since it is by Topshop. It's a hundred and some odd dollars. It does come in black, too. So if you're you if you would rather get the black one, I think you can't go wrong with either color. I think they're both beautiful. They're both incredibly chic and incredibly warm. So, and then I just did a um, black bodysuit by Commando. This is just a simple tank bodysuit. I wear it a ton underneath the jackets when it's like not that cold out. Um, but I still want to wear a heavier jacket. I'll, I'll, you know, choose to wear this sleek bodysuit by Commando because it is slimming. It is sleek, like I said, but it is also very, I know, affordable. And I love wearing bodysuits because they stay tucked in. You don't have to worry about them bunching up or anything like that. And then I just did, of course, the faux leather joggers, but then I kept on the sock booties because I wanted to show y'all how versatile and wearable they really are. And I honestly love the sock booties with the joggers. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the sock booties with the joggers, but I love them. I think they look really cool. Just that's the really good thing about sock booties is they make the part around the ankle super thin so that your jeans, your pants, whatever, do a you know great job of easily fitting over the sock booties. Okay, the number four look, the number four way to style these amazing faux leather joggers by Spanx is the same camel turtleneck bodysuit that I'm wearing right now. I love the sexy cutout. Again, it's a turtleneck, so it's warm, and I love the thumb holes. And then I just paired this long top shop cardigan over this look. I think this cardigan is soft. It is cool because it's long, so I think it's a head turner. It's statement making. It's reasonably priced. It's under $100. I think it comes in another a few other colors as well. But of course, I love the black. I don't think you can go wrong with black. I feel like with the cutout turtleneck, it definitely dresses up the look. So that is why I chose to wear the leopard heels with this look, kind of marrying the, the black um, color with the camel tones. And these leopard heels do a great job of tying in those two colors. So I would wear this look out on a date night, a girl's night out. Love it. It's just it's so incredibly chic. Okay, look number five is this awesome brown and black snake print bodysuit. I love the shoulders. The shoulder detailing is really cool on this bodysuit. Of course, I love the fact that it is snake print. You know, big shoulders like that are a trend, a really hot trend in 2020. This bodysuit, I love the V neckline because it allows you to show off your favorite necklaces. Plus, anytime you have a V neckline, it's going to elongate your frame, making you look taller and slimmer. So that is why 95% of the time I wear a V-neck or a scoop neckline. This bodysuit is under $100, so it's such a great deal. 
Then of course I did the faux leather joggers and I topped it with the Veronica Beard scuba blazer. But this time I've talked about the scuba blazer a ton on my channel because I highly recommend it. If you're gonna invest in one black blazer, the Veronica Beard scuba blazer would be my top pick. And the reason is it's extremely high quality. It's wrinkle free. The fit is amazing. It is a structured black blazer as opposed to an oversized black blazer. But the, really, the thing that makes it really stand out is that you can insert these dickies into it. Basically, you know, dickies are things that zip in and out of the blazer, making it look like an entirely different jacket. You don't have to wear the dickie with the blazer. I wear this blazer a ton by itself. But today I decided to zip in the black leather dickie. So I think that really makes this blazer look incredibly edgy and just incredibly chic. Now I'm gonna try to find this exact black leather dickie. They have changed the style a little bit. Um, it's still a black leather dicky by Veronica Beard, of course, but it's a little bit of a different style. So I will try to link the exact leather dicky I have on, but I will definitely link the new version of the leopard dicky as well. Again, it is still black leather and it still looks really cool inside the jacket. So <clears throat> highly recommend the Veronica Beard scuba blazer. It does come in navy and white. In case you already have a black blazer, then I would recommend one of those colors. I just did some nude pumps. These are by Christian Louis Vuitton. I've had these pumps forever. There is a similar pair by Sam Edelman, some awesome nude pumps. I think a nude pump is another wardrobe staple that every woman needs. A new pump, nude pump is going to elongate your legs because it is nude, so it's just gonna kind of blend in with your skin tone, which is a little style tip to help you look taller and slimmer. And then I just paired it back with my beige YSL um, college bag. So this is a, a great look, again, a little bit on the dressier side, so another fabulous look to wear on a date night, on a girl's night out, or something like that. You could easily just swap out you know, the heels for some sneakers if you wanted to be a bit more casual. And there are some sneaker looks coming up, so stay tuned for that. Okay, the next look is a sneaker look. Like I said, this is a um, blank NYC tiger print denim jacket with a zip out hoodie. This is a very reasonable priced jacket. I think it's really cool. It's very easy and casual. Like it'd be great to wear on the weekends when you're out running errands, going to the grocery store. Maybe your kid has a soccer game, something like that. You wanna be comfortable, but you wanna look really, you know, incredibly chic and really cute. I think this would be the perfect look. So again, this easy tiger print denim jacket. I just did a simple V-neck white tee and some Golden Goose sneakers. Now these exact Golden Goose sneakers aren't available anymore. I've had them for about three years, but I will link some similar Golden Goose sneakers down below as well as a budget friendly version of just some fun uh, white and silver sneakers because I just think that, you know, you need at least one pair of fun and chic sneakers in your, in your shoe collection because I literally live in my Golden Goose sneakers during the week or, you know, on the weekends when I'm just like running errands wanting to look cute, but be very comfortable. Okay, the next look is this cream cardigan. I know y'all love cardigans because last month I did a video on the top 10 selling items in September and literally like four of the items were cardigans. So I was like, ooh, I'm gonna just keep, you know, showing you ladies cardigans because obviously you love them. I love them because I think they're chic, but they're also very cozy and just very comfortable. And there's nothing I love more in the fall and winter time, like on a chilly or cold day, just to like, you know, snuggle up in a cozy cardigan. And this one is incredibly soft. It's under $100. I love this beautiful ivory color. And then I just did um, the commando bodysuit. Again, this bodysuit is sleek, it's slimming, but it's also very comfortable. So I highly recommend this under $100. Uh, simple black bodysuit by commando. Literally, you'll wanna wear it underneath all your jackets, I promise. And then of course, the faux leather joggers. And then I did these snake print mules by Jimmy Choo. So this is kind of a way, again, of throwing an animal print into, the, into a look and marrying the two colors together, the ivory and the black. So love these snake print mules by Jimmy Choo. I did find some by Vince Camuto that look very similar and they're a fraction of the price. So I will be sure and link those down below as well. Number eight, the next way to style the faux leather joggers is with this green army jacket by Frame. I love that it has the gold, um, <laughs> zipper and buttons on it. I've had this army jacket for probably, you know, three or four years. Again, an army jacket is something I talk about a lot because I think it's a wardrobe staple. In fact, I did a 17 piece um, capsule wardrobe and the Madewell army jacket was part of that capsule wardrobe. It basically looks very similar to this frame army jacket, but it doesn't have the gold hardware. 
Love this jacket. And then I just did a simple white tee and then my Golden Goose Leopard sneakers. These Leopard sneakers were part of the 17 piece fall capsule wardrobe as well. But this is another easy, casual look. If you wanna be comfortable, but you still wanna look chic, like an army jacket, a white tee and sneakers will do the trick. And of course, with these amazing under $100, actually they're not under $100. These faux leather joggers, I think are $148, but that is still a really good deal for these faux leather joggers because they're very high quality. Okay, look number nine is with a black denim jacket. So this denim jacket is by Frame. I got it on sale a couple weeks ago. There is a Madewell jacket that looks exactly like this jacket. So frankly, had I seen the Madewell jacket first, I would have bought that one, but it is under $100. It is really cool black faded denim. It's a bit oversized, so it's very on trend. That's kind of what we're seeing in 2020 or everything's just a bit more oversized, bigger jackets baggier denim. So this, you know, denim jacket is awesome. I also love to wear this denim jacket over my yoga clothes. Like if I go do yoga on the weekends or during the week, I love to just throw on this denim jacket with my golden goose sneakers. And I think it looks really cool as well. But then I did this, the redone tank. I love how this tank cuts in on the shoulders, creating a really cool and tastefully sexy neckline. And, um, and then I did the, the leopard lace up heels in my YSL uh, beige college medium handbag. So again, this is another fun look that you could wear out to dinner, uh, girls night out. You could also wear it during the day, just swap out the leopard heels for the leopard sneakers. So as you can see, all of these looks can be really worn dressy, casual, just depending on if you wear the heels, the booties, or the sneakers, proving the versatility and wearability of these faux leather joggers. Okay, the final look, this is another fun, easy, casual look, is a cashmere camel sweater. This is by Naked Cashmere. I featured this sweater a couple weeks ago in a video I did, and it actually has matching um, cashmere camel joggers, which I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with this set. I will be sure and link the entire set down below. Um, but, you know, for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to, to show you how you could take the sweater, and you don't have to wear it with the cashmere joggers. You can wear it with these faux leather joggers and it looked really cute, I thought. And I just did some, the same uh, leopard golden goose sneakers and then a crossbody Chanel um, uh, wallet on a chain. So I love this bag so much. I just got it and I've literally been carrying it a lot in the fall and winter. I love the fact that it has the gold and silver hardware. And I did find a Tory Burch wallet on a chain that's black with a gold chain that looks very similar to this um, Chanel bag. So I will be sure and link that one down below in my description box. So those were the faux leather jogger style 10 ways. I hope you ladies enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite way was. I always love hearing from y'all. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. You guys have a fabulous day, and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.